just like any other IT solutions, even the DSP database need to back up on a regular basis. With the help of regular backups, the administrators can remain assured that even if something goes bad with the DHCP server or if the DHCP database gets corrupted or deleted accidentally, the entire DHCP information can be restored from the backup. By default, the DHCP database is automatically backup at every 60 minutes. Let's open registry to see the registry key that's going to the location and timing of DHCP database. So on registry editor, expand HK local machine, expand system, expand current control set, expand services and under services, look at DHCP server service. Okay, and uh, let's click on parameters. And this is the registry key for DHCP backup database path. And it is C column slash windows slash system 32 slash DHCP and backup. Let's open the folder. Let's double click on C drive, windows, system 32, DHCP and backup. So this is the location where by default DHCP is true, the DHCP database backup. Let's click on close. So let's see the steps to manually backup the DHCP database at any time. Let's select your server, in my case that is lab-dc01.mpitv.lab. Right click on it and select backup. Select the location where you want to store the DHCP database backup. I'm going to store on our E drive. On E drive, make a new folder. And let's press by the name DHCP backup. OK. And click on OK. And that's it. Let's open this PC again. On this PC, let's open E drive. And under DHCP backup folder, here we have a backup of our DHCP database. This is a DHCP configuration file. OK. Let's minimize it. And just for testing purpose, I'm going to delete the DHCP scope name, DHCP scope 2. Just right click on it and select delete. Click on yes. Now suppose accidentally administrator delete the DHCP scope 2 and we want to restore back the DHCP scope 2 from our backup. So let's uh, right click on our lab DC01 and this time select restore. Now here we have to specify the location of our DHCP database backup. In our case, it is DHCP backup. Let's click on OK. And here we got a one uh, warning message. In order to change to take effect, the DHCP service must be stopped and restarted. Would you like to do this now? Click on yes. Yes. Okay. DHCP service will uh, restart. Okay, DHCP database was restored successfully. Let's click on OK. Let's expand lab one.mptv.lab. Let's expand IP version 4. And here, as we can see, we have a DHCP scope 2 available over here, which we deleted earlier to test DHCP database restoration. In this way, you can manually take a backup of your DHCP server and you can restore it from your DHCP backup. That's it for this video tutorial. Thank you for watching this video.